Welcome back to Cabin Fever Dreams, everyone. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities so far, and that you're all experiencing warmer weather and a much livelier environment now that spring has truly sprung. We've had a few heavy trips into lands afar already, exploring to the end, and that's all well and good. But when it's this season, it's nice to change the pace for a moment and take a shorter stroll. Tonight, I want to give you a glimpse into something delightfully different. A sharp contrast to the bright colors and fragrant flowers of the sights we've seen thus far. But first, we need something to take along, especially because we're in for an auditory experience that's going to match the visuals. That's why our old pals at Raycon are coming along for the trip and bringing their everyday earbuds. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever, with their array of vibrant colors and sleek design. That goes for the outside and the inside. Their dynamic drivers for spatial audio and personalized EQs provide the robust sound you're listening for at half the price of other premium audio brands. And speaking of inside, they come with optimized gel tips that make sure they feel comfortable and provide the perfect in-ear fit. Raycon designed the everyday earbuds with such focus on staying put that they invited me to give them a vigorous head shake test to prove their ability. And while the SCP Foundation has strictly warned me about never showing myself on camera, I decided to record myself performing the test anyway. Here, have a look. See, even while hanging upside down, they had no issues staying in my ears. Side to side, front to back, head banging or exercising, my everyday earbuds have stuck with me, and those optimized gel tips and well-informed design will do the same for you. With a 32-hour battery life and over 8 hours of continuous playtime, they make the perfect companion for enjoying the spring weather and getting the gardening underway. I know that like myself, a lot of you are swapping snow shovels for rakes and dirt shovels now. So trust me when I say, the everyday earbuds are the right companion for outdoor work. And with over 30,000 five-star reviews, there are plenty of others who agree. Give yourself the best audio treatment before heading outside to join all the spring festivities. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash nightmind to get 15% off your order, or just click the link in the video description below. Again, that's buyraycon.com forward slash nightmind for 15% off your order, or just click the link in the video description below. Thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video, and for providing the best solution for all the outdoor work ahead of me sowing moonflowers in the local graveyards while enjoying my music. If you don't know what moonflowers are, by the way, look them up. They're very cool. Now, about tonight's topic. I'ma be real with you, Chief. I don't know how to say the name of this one, and it's even worse than me pronouncing serpent as serpent, so bear with me. This is the channel, and the underscore as the first item in the name kind of illustrates how odd it's going to be addressing it. Is it Boysvert? Boyvert? Boyver? If you look around online, it seems to be French and is actually pronounced Boisvert. I'm going to go with that, which is probably a relief to all of my French and Canadian viewers who are about to roast me in the comments section. I really don't need another roasting on how I pronounce some things, okay? Anyway, Boisvert is a channel that's made quite a unique impact largely undiscovered and underdiscussed, and yet with a major view footprint. It's an anomaly, an open secret that entices and seems to step around quietly at the same time. But what is it really? Let's take a look at the very first video. Take care. So let's state the obvious first. The creativity here is awesome, right? Animation to live action with video edits to keep the appearance of this entity downstairs. Add in the simple but unsettling music, and you've got a cool minimalist atmosphere that gives you those feelings of finding creative pocket dimensions in some forms of media. The subject matter is easy to interpret. 
These are troubling times. The noises downstairs are the accusatory questions from the dark creature that resembles the main character. The character is trying their best to stay healthy and busy to ignore it, but can't quite get away because it's showing up in art and coming through in sleep. This is an interesting moment, actually. Look at the statement. Waking at a 11. There's a nice touch of concern in the expression of the character in bed for this frame, too, further illustrating their feelings. Now, let's move on to the next piece, Tenant, demo for a game which will never exist. This is the kind of video that gets you excited all on its own, doesn't it? The creativity, the meshing of media types, the style. It all blends into a very unique piece, with a mystery throughout. We'll start with the contents of the tenant package, a cartridge with a Polaroid on top. It looks like a teenager sitting down in front of a TV, like they're about to play a game themselves. If you look closely, you'll see they're even holding a controller. Games used to come with manuals for the controls and information about the story and world. This Polaroid may be taking the place of a manual. The tenant cartridge has a custom label, with two windows blacked out in the building. Interesting touch. The TV gives us a reflection of the room when the game console powers on, and details are fuzzy, but it looks like a very bare sort of bedroom. The player name entered, Oriel, is a French name, typically masculine, and is only one letter off from Uriel, the name of an archangel, though that might mean nothing in the context of the art. Oriel is given the task of evicting a large number of tenants, and on his way, his attention is caught by something spidery roaming around. An attempt to shine the flashlight on a creature meant to be evicted causes the game to crash. Are we looking at more metaphors for dealing with inner demons? Unfortunate that this game will never exist. It looks deliciously unnerving. The next video takes place in familiar territory, quite unexpectedly. Wow, look at him go. Quirked up triangular boy breaking it down demonic style, goaded with the aggro. He's totally right. They don't even know. They are missing out. <laughs> okay, I know. This one's kind of hard. Is it meant to be goofy, or disturbing, or both? I'd say both. They don't know what he's feeling, standing in the corner, among all the happiness and flirtation and the humor that comes from this being a meme. But we can surely see it. And now, we follow up with the piece, Burning.
The tag in the bottom corner is for the artist's Instagram, where a lot more creations can be found, and I do encourage taking a look. As for the piece itself, the statement at the beginning is curious, isn't it? It has been a year now. The cycle continues. If you look at the date for the first video and the video burning, you'll see they're almost a year apart. It may be reflecting on this, but it could be reflecting on something that took place before the video, take care. The theme of burning is very clear, carrying on with the idea of the central character battling his darkness, inability to mingle with society, and looking for anything to do. It's him who's burning, and the turn from white to black may represent that. Continue is definitely a piece worth checking out. Here, look at this. How did that music get so awesome out of nowhere? That was crazy good, right? And the mix of elements again for this piece. Fantastic. It's a visual delight. There are only snippets of statements you can catch during this segment, but we can list them out. Apparent to me that I have always deluded myself passing off. Animosity towards myself. They were cowards after all. Move on to something, anything other than the horrible fear in which I have lived for decades. There's absolutely an internal conflict taking place here, but the drive to continue overcomes the drive to quit, an ending worth cheering for. You probably understand quite well now what sort of project we're dealing with. This is a lot of internal emotion and turmoil art, very in tune with symbols, very much in the vein of exercising feelings and struggles like we've seen in a few projects. Nobody has done it like this though, and it's captivating. We'll take a look at one more piece together, because I really want you all to see this one. I met a beautiful angel. upon the face of my watch. My past decapitated. I search blindly for what I will not find. Blind in my your own hand, as surely as if you had held the burning heart. One thousand decisions made in the name of a desiccated existence. Look up from your watch and tell me when you will grant forgiveness to the one most lacking. When it is deserved. Just when you wonder how this artist can incorporate cool new creative touches for mixing elements, this video arrives. By the way, I'm guessing you'd like to know what those references were. Corinthians 13.11 When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Proverbs 20.11 Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. 
This piece is a contrasting mix, heavy and light, dark and lovely, and mysterious throughout. This is the most symbolic so far of the videos we've witnessed together, and the good news is that it keeps on going from here. Boisvert has 9 more videos you can experience, and I highly encourage you to do so. I've arranged a playlist in the video description, so you can go straight through. Have yourself a visual and auditory feast, from the mind and hands of a creator whose work truly stands alone online. Others have remarked that Boisvert is horrifying, and certainly elements of it are, but I find the work to also be quite beautiful. And whether you're more horrified or enchanted, I have no doubt that many will feel inspired. Again, I encourage you to view the rest on your own, uninterrupted, and ready to receive it. There will always be projects that call for us to cover them end to end, and there are those who invite us to open the door a bit and leave the rest for personal exploration. Maybe we'll return later for a full analysis. But for now, I invite you on a self-guided journey, and to come back here and leave comments if you feel so inclined after reaching the end, or what may only be the end as far as we can see at the moment. Thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this glimpse into a unique mixed-media collage. Thanks to Boisvert for sharing their art with the world. Thanks to all of you for watching, and thanks to my supporters on Patreon, where you can also support Boisvert in creating more and enable them to embark on much larger projects. You can stick around to see the names of all the creatures of the night supporting Nightmind and the Nightmind Index at the end of this video. Thanks for joining me in the dark again this evening. Once more, I'm Nick Nocturne, and like the demon in your basement, you'll be seeing me again real soon. Until next time, sleep tight.